do not object to this. So what they do is they zip you up, they put you in a bag, they fly you to UCLA Medical Center, you go, you undergo a two and a half million dollar surgery that lasts nine and a half hours. When you come to, you will have a Demerol, codeine, morphine, Tylenol, Vicodin blend going on in this region. <laughs> Do enjoy it. When you wake up, 14 of your friends will have spent the night in the hospital. The first face that you see is a 300 plus pound drag queen who's a very dear friend of yours by the name of Michael Brooks, who was the doorman of the Onyx Hotel tour, the psychedelic hotel for Britney Spears' last tour. Michael Brooks, for six years that you have known him, every single day that you have seen him, even though you are straight as straight can be, has propositioned you for sex. <laughs> now he's got you right where he wants you. Mr. Kramer, it's time for your sponge bath. <laughs> so that's pretty much what it's like to jump off a rocket into a boulder. After that, you go to rehab. I went to rehab. And uh, afterwards, I went to outpatient rehab, and I met the love of my life. And it's Katie Sullivan. King Silver, for those of you who do not know, is the only bilateral double above the knee amputee female in the world who can run. Yeah. Clap for that, that is unbelievable. Yeah. That is also a big business card. The only bilateral double <laughs> above the knee amputee female in the world who can run. Mine says Jay Paymo chair. <laughs> But yeah, we are a, uh, a couple. She's a legless sprinter, and I am a stand-up comedian. <laughs> and we are the poster children for oxymoron cereal. <laughs> uh, my girlfriend got sick the other day, and I got a Theraflu. I don't know if you guys have ever tried this stuff. There's two flavors, awful and strawberry. <laughs> don't try the strawberry. <laughs> But uh, if, you, if you haven't tried it, Deraflu, if you're a regular person, it'll knock you out. But my girlfriend's two-thirds of a person, so she was fucking floored. <laughs> so I roofied my legless girlfriend with Deraflu. <laughs> I bet you weren't expecting that, sir. I bet you weren't expecting to come to the improv tonight and see a stand-up comedian in a wheelchair talking about how he roofied his legless girlfriend with Deraflu. <laughs> no? I'd like to see you at the water cooler tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, man, I went to the improv and saw the stand up comedian in a wheelchair. He was talking about how he roofied his leg and his girl in the therapy. Anybody want to go to OCB for lunch? They'll be alright. <laughs> Here's a tip for you, though. If you do decide to roofie your legless girlfriend with therapy, make sure she passes out on top of you, because if she passes out on the other side of the room and you have a difficult time walking, then you're fucked. Well, technically, nobody's fault. <laughs>